Hi, I'm Brian Neary, a commercial real estate advisor with Newmark Grub Knife Frank. With us today, we have co-founder of Technically Media, Chris Wink. One of the many things I'm proud of is how many decisions we make that are unlike other people's decisions who have gone through the pathways we have. I, I think we're really good at at not being distracted by shiny things. We have a very clear pathway on, on what we want to execute on and we consistently deliver on that. And you look at our geographic footprint and it speaks to that a lot. Um, if you are gonna build a, a network of, of local sites in some form, if you look at peers and others do it, pretty commonly you go to five predictable markets, New York, San Francisco, maybe you throw in Chicago, Splash maybe in Atlanta or, or in Austin, just so you can have a really pretty national looking map. And it's my experience that you are very likely to have less than meaningful value or impact in any of those communities because you spread yourself incredibly thin and you're operating under the wrong, uh, wrong mechanisms. You're not going to a place that matters or fits to your model. You're going to a place that, that, that looks good for investors or national advertisers or for your mom whom you want to impress because of deep-seated childhood re uh, strange relationships or something. Um, Fortunately, I don't have any of those angsts. Um, so uh, in, instead, we've always said we want to create density, and the way we can do that is through self-identified niches, how do people actually talk about themselves, and clustering them nearby each other to increase the chance of serendipity or crossover, and that has pretty consistently worked out. So we were founded in Philadelphia, we had a footprint here, we're, we're deeply proud of that. But we recognized really quickly that there were lots of similarities between other communities, communities that were talking about coalescing, communities of economic change, who wanted someone to not just talk about those who were best succeeding, but to try to at least ask, approach the question of how can any of this economic uh, impact benefit more than, than those who are already privileged by it. And we started with the real constraint of wanting to be to be in communities that were nearby, both both geographically but also ideologically. So, Baltimore, when we expanded there in 2012, was an expression of feeling that Baltimore was far more a peer city than than Philadelphia and Baltimore often talked about. We had a lot of shared interests. They were beautiful and dynamic and culturally significant cities that uh, were incredibly indifferent to the rest of the world for lots of positive and essential reasons. And and we learned an incredible amount of lessons there. And, and we wanted to, we were interested in, in Brooklyn because there was a, a New York tech community, but Brooklyn, 2.2 million people with lots of deep-seated poverty alongside some of the, the most dynamic economic change on the planet. Um, we didn't feel like anyone was really talking about the, the complexities. It was just a Brooklyn hipster narrative as opposed to one of the most culturally significant places in our country and, and what that economic change can mean. Um, the same thing was with DC. DC, when we expanded to DC, we felt like that conversation was dominated by conversations about, um, you know, just government tech, just Northern Virginia, um, and oh, maybe there's some kids thinking about um, a city that's had challenges and, and wants to be a part of solving that for communities that have had long-standing impact. We approach it from the way of saying this is a place to live, this is a city that also has lots of meaningful cultural mainstays and, and needs to think about its future and we wanted to be a part of it. And it runs true to, to Delaware as well, it's our only statewide publication. It was meant to be part of an experiment of seeing what a statewide effort would look like. Wilmington, its largest city with 75,000 people, is far smaller than our others, you know, a tenth of the size basically of our, of our small, next small city. Um, but outsized credit card and financial center, um, part of a state that has everything from, from uh, agricultural communities to urban challenges, it was a lot more a picture of what the United States looked like. Um, probably a good way to sum up our, our choices around geography is based around depth. We want to go somewhere because we think we can have impact, not because it looks pretty on a map. And I think our footprint can expand under the logic that we're doing it for the right reasons and I'm a naive believer in the long-term benefit of doing what's right.